Hey you guys, it's your girl Shiny Mac. So we are here once again, y'all, for this these same typical issues that's constantly happening with us blacks. And I wanna cover this. This is about um a young man who was killed in Memphis. Um and now they are out there rioting. So I wanna get a little uh, full extent to some degree because I don't know necessarily I woke up to this y'all and I wanted to recover it um, so this video is gonna be a little different mainly more so like just my perspective I'm gonna play this video and um, and just you know give my view on it until I get more information um, to it, I do have an article here from ABC News on my cover too, and see what sticks out in that, and then I'll come back and give more. Plus, I want to talk about uh, this other story about a young man that was killed over in LA. I woke up to these stories, and uh, very little is being talked about it. I end up seeing it through like some blogging websites, so I want to cover about that gentleman as well. So, let's play this short video real quick. And let's see what they have to say. Bullets went down in the Fraser community of Memphis Wednesday evening. A team of U.S. Marshals encountered a suspect <coughs> wanted for multiple felonies, allegedly, and they tried to apprehend him as he was getting into a vehicle. Listen. While attempting to stop the individual, he reportedly rammed his vehicle into the officer's vehicles multiple times before exiting with a weapon. The officers fired, striking, and killing the individual. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation has been called in to conduct an independent probe. The shooting sparked angry protests that went late into the night. Local police and deputies were called in to assist. According to Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland, at least 24 officers were injured, six of them hospitalized. And the mayor says at least two journalists were injured and vandals damaged multiple police cars, a business, and a fire station. The mayor posted on Facebook, Let me be clear, the aggression shown toward our officers and deputies tonight was unwarranted. But Shelby County Commissioner Tammy Sawyer, who's also running for mayor, posted a tweet decrying the U.S. Marshall-involved shooting. Sawyer writes, Every life lost should matter, every single one. How many times will this be okay? It cannot continue to be. Police used tear gas to disperse the crowd, uh, which cleared around 11 o'clock last night, and authorities say at least three people have been arrested. Eric, back to you. What a shame. All right, Jonathan, thank you. Oh, here go another video. Let's see this one. <clears throat> and there is a lot breaking right now, folks. Memphis Police, uh, Shelby County Deputies, the TBI, and U.S. Marshals all on the scene of a shooting involving a U.S. Marshal in Fraser. A situation, honestly, so tense. Police are in riot gear, and a triage has been set up for injured officers. Yeah, that's right, Richard. Now, the initial shooting, it happened about two hours ago, and it was in the 2000 block of Durham. Right now, crowd control becoming an issue. Already, officers report being injured, rocks being thrown at them. Local 24 News bringing you team coverage of this volatile situation tonight. Reporters Rebecca Butcher and Caitlin McCarthy covering the shooting and the crowd's reaction to it. Uh, let's start first with Rebecca. What have you learned about what happened and led to the situation right now? Well, good evening, Richard and also Christina. We've moved to a much calmer area here in the Fraser area that it was very out of control where we were earlier. That was at Overton Crossing. Right now, we're actually here closer to where that U.S. Marshal uh, <coughs> Officer of All Shooting happened earlier this evening, reported around 7 p.m. We're, in the two, we're near the 2000 block of Durham Street. Now, we know that this was a U.S. Marshal involved shooting, that police and deputies are here only for crowd control, according to information officers. I did get a chance to speak with the one woman who lives nearby. She says that she came out when she heard reportedly 16 shots being fired in this area here in Durham Street. We also heard a number of helicopters overhead nearby. Police continue to come here close to the scene. You can see officers here. They do have some right here with them making their way closer to this area. Now right now it's not sure who this victim is, but we do know that the TBI, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, they do come to these scenes, like they say they're coming to this scene here this evening. 
when they do investigate deadly uh, officer-involved shootings. So we're still trying to get more information on that victim. Becca, can you hear me? This is Katina. And um, also we're waiting for the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. Mm -hmm. I know you have the helicopter yeah, above you. you. want to make sure that you hear me. So just to be clear, a U.S. Marshal was actually serving some type of warrant, and a neighbor says that she came out after hearing how many gunshots did you say? I just asked her before this live hit. She says that she heard 16 gunshots. She came outside to investigate, and she said a little bit later on she saw at least three ambulances coming to this area. Now, right now, it's not clear if uh, that person is dead. We do not have official word on if the victim has died, uh, and we're still waiting for word on that from authorities so on the current situation here in Fraser. Just before you pulled back, Rebecca, we were watching the video feed in the monitor in the newsroom there, and we saw the police in riot gear uh, and it appeared that even uh, our photographer was injured or something was thrown at his camera. Is that true? Is that why you guys moved back? And we have heard since that tear gas is being used. Yeah. Right. We do know that officers have dispensed tear gas closer to where that volatile, very hostile to us scene was in that area closer to Overton uh, crossing. And yes, our photographer Patrick, he did get hit in the face on the side of his cheek. Uh, I don't know if you guys caught the live hit those watching the viewers earlier uh, on our CW channel in the 9 o'clock show. But we just had to cut that live hit because he was hit in the face. Thankfully, though, he's okay. And we since moved to a much calmer area here near Durham where the shooting was reported earlier this evening. Rebecca, before we let you go, I just, from watching that live feed, I, live feed, I just really cannot tell why the crowd was so angry. Can you take me into some of that conversation that they were having with you and telling you why they were so mad about what was going on? They were very angry. Uh, we heard a lot of reports of people uh, saying F-12, which means the police, people angry at the police, some men even spitting at the police. We're believing this all stems in reaction from the shooting, the officer-involved shooting that happened here earlier in the evening. These people have been out here uh, for at least a couple of hours. It started raining. No one left. They still stayed in the area. And like you guys saw earlier, there was a line. Uh, police were saying, hold the line, uh, even though Ron bottles and other objects, sharp objects were being thrown at them. Well, Rebecca, please continue to stay safe. We did see that the, uh, the, the camera moved once the photographer Patrick was hit. We're glad to make... Okay, we're going to stop it. All right, so I'm going to read this article a little bit and see what this has to say. I'm reading it and learning along with y'all on this video. Wait a minute. Let's get it back up here. All right. Memphis police appeal for calm after marshals kill black man. Police appeal for calm Thursday in a Tennessee Memphis neighborhood where a rock throwing crowd gathered after federal marshals fatally shot a black man who authorities said had rammed a police vehicle with a stolen car. Oh, come on. You telling me y'all riding out there? Okay, let me finish reading this article now. Come. 36 officers suffered minor injuries for, for flying rocks and bricks in the hours following the death of 20-year-old Brandon Weber, who was killed Wednesday evening after he um, exited the car holding some type of weapon, authorities said. Okay, but was it a gun? Weber had been wanted in a June uh, 3rd shooting that happened during a car theft about 25 miles, 40 kilometers south of Memphis in Hernando, Memphis, I mean Mississippi. The victim was shot five times and survived. The car was the one used to ram the police vehicle, according to DeSoto County, Mississippi, District Attorney John Champion, who spoke Thursday at a news conference. So everybody going crazy for a reprobate. Yeah, I said it. Elected officials condemned the violence and the police chief pleaded uh, for patience while the shooting is investigated. But, unwant but unanswered questions left many people angry as they recall other police shootings around the country. On Thursday evening, dozens including Weber's father and other friends and relatives gathered near the house where he was shot. So he even had a father in his life. See what I'm talking about, y'all? This y'all with these statistics. 
okay let me finish reading a couple of men spoke and megaphones and some motorists who drove by and hung their horns and shouted messages of encouragement what there was a light police presence with a couple police cars parked at a nearby fire station that was damaged during wednesday night's unrest <clears throat> Shortly after Wednesday shooting, people began to gather in the area and their numbers swelled as some live streamed the scene on social media. Memphis police initially responded in street uniforms, then returned in riot gear as people began hurling rocks and bricks. Wow. So y'all gonna tear y'all neighborhood up and he didn't been from uh, Mississippi over to... You know what? Okay. This is going to be the little last piece I'm going to read because I'm done with these folks. During the unrest officers, uh, court cordon off, off several blocks in the Frazier neighborhood north of downtown and arrested three people by 11 p.m. Officers had used tear gas and most of the crowd dispersed. Police Director Michael Relling said, Relling, Relling's uh, implored residents to wait until the Tennessee Bureau investigation or TBI finished his investigation he appealed for people to refrain from violence and from uh spreading possible misinformation about the shooting <clears throat> yeah according to who though i need everyone to stay calm Relling said he later told wreg tv that while peaceful protests are allowed authorities will not tolerate further attacks on officers or any property damage or looting among Steps designed to maintain public order and protect law enforcement, Relling said. Officers, day, officers days off have been canceled and they will ride in two-person cars as a precaution. Okay. <clears throat> so they didn't say he had a gun, but they said he had some sort of weapon. Probably something in his hand that probably assisted in him taking his car in the first place. I don't know. Um, but this man, just this young man, 20 years old, and this is our problem, y'all. I was just talking with one of my good friends on the phone. We was talking about work related stuff and how people would stick up for people. You know, they dead wrong, dead wrong. And this is what happens. The wages of sin is death. You stole somebody's car and there's no telling what other crimes he did commit. Um, if I didn't already mention it, but my mind is right now on this. They out there going crazy. The whole city is rioting over a man, a young man. He a man, 20 years old. You didn't been state to state causing terror and hell in somebody else's that they worked hard for, car. And you just out here railing into police cars. You just think you was asking for a death wish. I mean, at this point, seriously. And now these folks out here, potentially now putting their own lives and freedom at risk, throwing rocks and all sorts of stuff at the police because they killed him. Now, they killing people unarmed and just having regular traffic stops. Y'all not out there going crazy for that. Then the ones that's getting off are doing the actual killing, walking in y'all city streets, still with their jobs and everything. And I don't see y'all going after that. But here it is, somebody who is dead wrong, dead wrong. Y'all are open to defending that. This, seriously. This is ridiculous. And this makes, this makes us as a people look really bad. You know, but at the same time, I always say, you still got your good and you got your bad out of these people. And that's on both sides. Like, there is no color when it comes to a wicked person, a reprobate person. It just isn't. I'm sorry. And this stuff has just been going on and on and on to where it's becoming numb to people. Now, I got another story I had ran across. I'm going to come back to this. But I ran, uh, I ran across, and this one isn't getting as much um, attention as far as um, it's getting out there and people knowing. It's morning, y'all. Work with your girl. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Hit the like button. Leave a comment respectfully. Don't forget to hit the little bell ringer for notifications on my upcoming videos. 
So I'm going to read this one to y'all, y'all, from Baller Alert. Okay. It says, Ryan Twyman. I could be saying his last name wrong. So my apologies if I am. Unarmed father of three, shot 37 times by L.A. Sheriff. Now, when I looked at this, I actually... I actually did a little checking on this, but I'm going to come back and I'm going to show y'all what I found in this, just within this story. Like, I keep telling y'all this stuff is a spiritual battle. And see, even in this case right here, <clears throat> even in this case, y'all not understanding. This stuff is going to keep happening to our people until all of us repent. Seriously. All of us repent and turn from our wicked ways. And God said he'll, you know, he's, he'll heal our land. And we'll be all right. Matter of fact, I'm going um, to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all. But the fact of the matter is, how is it that we constantly will stand for everything that's wrong and fight hard tooth and nail for everything that's wrong with our people? And this is like even with the parents. Like, this man had a father in his life, so we can't say, oh, he was fatherless. We can't say that was the issue. We can't, I don't know about the mother, but in, in this case, you know, most cases the mother is there. But whether the father was in the household or not, that's not even the case. He still had an acting, he had an acting second parent to where it's not like he just missed a step on something. Or the father could have been just as equally or ignorant. You know, we got that in, in cases too. Where like, it don't even matter. Like, both parents can fail the child. But we can um, sit here and we can go until we turn blue about people doing wrong to one another. And it's like it don't even matter. That's easy. But yet we can sit here when things are being done wrong and, and there's no one that is standing up for justice or we constantly keep falling for the same old, same old. When are we going to stop doing that? When are we going to honestly stop um, being that parent to say, you know your child bad as ever and yet you still want to be like, nah, my baby, my baby didn't do this and my baby not acting like that. We can't keep, we can't keep playing in denial when you know you got a messed up child. Seriously. And then these people grow up to be a menace to society and see, we already are profiled as black people. And yes, Every single one of them don't stand for all of us collectively, but that's just our own point of view. That's not how the world see us. And no, we shouldn't be living for the approval of the world because like I said, is it that we keep constantly um, allowing this stuff to happen to us? Well, the reason why this is keep constantly happening to us is because we are partaking and participating in Babylon, Babylon, everything, everything that you live and breathe. Seriously, like brown hair stealing. We know that's a sin. We know that's a commandment that's broken. And there's no telling what else this man has done that they haven't came out with. Like now, this is something that it will be justified. Screw the whole fact that <clears throat> he didn't have a gun because they didn't say he had a gun, and that could be their reason. Like, well, he didn't have a gun. Why they had to kill him? They're killing innocent blacks without a gun and they can see he didn't have a person didn't have a gun and they could be just doing a traffic stop. They would still kill. But yet this guy was like he was just ready to go to war with them. And as sensitive as it is now as being a black man walking around here, you know, I can't even say what his guidance and direction is, but that's just that's just not even right. You were asking for a death wish. You ramming cop cars and all this other crazy stuff you stole a car from another state crossed over into another and then y'all got there to be out there rioting because he got killed he was asking to get killed especially in this day and time he he can't be a person that's sitting around here acting like he don't know now with this man this is a whole different subject car cases but different situations okay so i'm gonna read this it says here on on thursday june 6 la county deputies of um open fire on 24 year old ryan um Twy twyman it says according to black lives matter los angeles twyman was shot 37 times and killed just three days after his birthday that's very unfortunate 
Um, no major news outlets seem to be covering the story and the def um the 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 deafening si um, silence is only fueling the outrage within his community. According to SBRBN, who spoke exclusively to Ryan's sister the day after his death, Ryan was sitting in his parked car with a friend when LA County deputies arrived on the scene. Now, that's what I want to know on what scene and where was they parked, all of that. Like, it's just it's a nice little gap there on what was the reason for the police coming. But that's not what's important here. Let's keep reading. But it's something important so we can learn what not to do. Because we, we can't be giving we can't keep giving these people reasons to be killing our people. Excuse me. Um But we don't know. Like I told y'all, y'all has all of this planned out and set up. So this is not done by an accident, y'all. And I'm gonna show y'all. Okay, it says upon the officer's arrival, an unarmed female relative of um, Twyman's moved to leave the area in fear that the police would harass them. So she figured wherever they were, it was going to be a problem. So she got the heck on, which she was smart to do. But when Twyman tried to leave in his car, okay, then they must have been there on the scene already. He was blocked in by the officers. Several witnesses claim that Ryan's friend then opened the passenger door of the car and the cops proceeded to drag the friend out of out and beat him. Ain't the commotion an officer claimed to have seen a gun. They always claimed to seen they had a gun, which caused another deputy to open fire shooting at Ryan. According to the uh, to eyewitnesses, after emptying the entire clip, the entire clip, the officer went back to his car and grabbed his rifle only to begin shooting at Ryan again. Come on now, that's just overkill. That's overkill. Letting a whole clip out on one person like this a video. I'm telling y'all, they doing us they doing y'all like uh like this Grand Theft Auto. There is no information or statements from the LAPD on this matter. Of course it's not. However, multiple witnesses have said that Ryan was unarmed and there, um, and there has yet to be evidence of a gun on the scene. Of course it isn't. Now, see, this is the young man right here. Had three kids. Now, <clears throat> this is why I talk to my friends. I always have this term I use for young men nowadays. Summer coming out. It's just literally about to be hunting season because it's like the deers. They know when the, the season of deers come out, what temperature is going to be looking like, all of that. And it's the same thing with black folks. It's hunting season. Summertime kicking around. Here I go again, y'all. Summertime kicking around. And they know black folks is about to be out here on the prowl like never before. They about to be out here. And one thing y'all know y'all love to do is to be seen and heard. Y'all got to be on the scene. Y'all got to be heard. You know, y'all got to be out here just posted somewhere. And I don't get that. Like, nowadays, it's just best to stay out the way. Do stuff with your family. Do stuff like that, you know. I don't know what his affairs were, where he was, and why. But, <clears throat> I it's just crazy. Like, this is just every day. I woke up to seeing this. Um, I seen this one first. And then the Memphis thing came later, uh, maybe about an hour or so later, when I went to check my phone and then they was talking about it. And I'm like, what is going on? I just woke up. What is going on? When are we going to get our stuff together, people? Okay, because all this, we need to stick together. We need to go for the... <clears throat> no, excuse me. I'm sorry, y'all. Allergies messing with me. And as y'all know, I'm big and out of breath pregnant. So... We can't keep telling ourselves we need to go to people, we need to go to this person and that person to fix our problems. When our problems, we need to fix within our own selves. Who's getting to these kids before they become of age? Why aren't y'all talking to y'all kids? Like, y'all letting TV and music and stuff and trends and, you know, and this is the thing. Um, a lot of people be out here spoiling their kids. And, and, and it's okay to buy your, your kid nice things if you can afford to do so. But see, this one thing y'all have to understand. It's nice that, that them kids have had that. They get to know what labels is and what they look like and everything. Y'all feel proud of y'all selves. Y'all want y'all kids to have the best. Okay, fair. 
But <clears throat> if it ever got to a point in y'all life where you can't afford to do that anymore and your child gets older and they're used to looking and experiencing things a certain type of way, they don't appreciate the value of a dollar because it's always the finest of things have been given to them. So they have no appreciation for anything. They are usually the ones led to do the most destructive stuff. They are usually the ones that um, once they do get it, you know, they got to be seen. They got to be heard. You know, they got to be, you know, out in the vocal view. And it's, it's very unfortunate. People, you know, be getting hurt over this stuff. And our people, you know, will take somebody else's car because that's just something they want off of it to make some money. To, and they say it's for them to eat. But you ain't buying food. You do a whole lot more than just buying food. It's for for greed. It's not because you got a family and the only way y'all gonna eat because nobody has a job is you know you you got you kind of like you know you stuck like somebody who's been in jail for a long time and they finally put them back on the streets and they can't find a job anywhere usually they resort back into doing crime again because that's the way they know how to get money and that's the only way honestly that's an option so it's messed up because that will make sense when you see someone who's already been convicted as a felon and it's hard for them to get work now are there jobs out here for them absolutely but is that an option available in every state in every state and city no so we, we we can't you know sit back and just say oh that's no excuse and it's not many jobs they can only hire so many but we have way more convicted felons than there are jobs available and especially housing when when these things come about so they are doing basically what they need to survive so a lot of that stuff makes sense how it's like a revolving circle and they end up in and out of jail like the best place for them to be they feel is in prison somewhere but when you got these young people out here for whatever mischief reasons they want to go on this tangent you know um they just go crazy and for you to just run a whole stolen car you want it somewhere you got warrants all over the place so you, this already your rep is ruined but this young man is not even they're not even talking about this yeah you not gonna put something like this with this gentleman right here 37 times once i mean you see some cops fire off in some videos and i'm not even saying even in those videos is okay but you got some people firing off in some videos where um <clears throat> You know, it's a few times and then that person is dead. But then you go back to your car and shoot some more. Like, how much more? It's like they really shooting. You know how you play those video games and you, like, have to defeat this big old monster or something? Or some kind of in, uh, 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 immortal type of being, I would say. And you just shooting, 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 shooting. And then you got to keep shooting. You know, it's like playing Mortal Kombat, keep hitting the person until they finally down and dead. Like, that's, it seems like they out here playing a video game with y'all lives. Seriously. I'm so serious. That's not even a joke. Because that's the concept. And y'all not understanding why this keep happening. But then y'all feel like the option is to riot. Y'all feel like the option is to go out here and go to your go your government or have a protest standing out there talking talking to the news and all this stuff tearing up your city and your community that you live around or whatever not that there's many of our black communities left you know um shout out to o'shea duke jackson because he was just talking about this on his um on his uh, uh channel y'all can check him out he on youtube also um, he made a lot of good points. Um, a lot that I can't remember, but if y'all check it out, I think he's going for like close to an hour, but it's it's worth the listen. He He's actually making some valid points in his videos. Um, and I agree with a lot of what he said from what I did here because I didn't get a chance to listen to the entire um, podcast because when I had looked at the article, this one, this, this one right here, about this is a fool. Um... And I so happened to just, you know, see one of the notifications. And I'm like, oh, okay, he's talking about it as well. So I went and listened to him, what he was saying while I was making me something to eat. And I just felt already compelled to talk anyways. Just because these folks is out here rioting. And y'all attacking the police too. And then y'all wonder, like, what's going to happen? And like, 
What if they, they beef up everything there? Or they try to get y'all like they bring the military in if y'all don't chill out. Like y'all doing too much for a person who was probably then went somewhere. He went to another black community and, and did what he did. This is, it's be, it's above me. I don't know. Like y'all pick and choose when y'all want to fight and argue about something. Then y'all go tear up y'all shit. Y'all don't even go where these people be actually living. They don't live in y'all hoods. I'm not saying that all police officers live in the suburbs, but I'm just saying wherever these people are y'all not taking it to their front door y'all not out in front of the police station and actually having a peaceful protest or whatnot y'all not doing that y'all going and tearing up your own community and throwing shit at the police so y'all asking for them to uh, fight back at y'all like right now it's so many different riots matter of fact i'm about to pull that up oh uh rt news let me see this stuff is going on all over all over let me see I think it was this one I seen it yesterday and they were just like showing me so many clippings of these riots happening all over the world right now at the same time and it's happening here too um look I'm gonna play that video too because I did want to show y'all remember I'm gonna play it right now check this out <laughs> We are on the corner of Prairie and El Segundo, and they have their guns drawn on this young black man right here. Why are your guns pulled on this young man? He has no weapons on him. We live right now. We are so live. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Last name, William. Are you going to shoot him? Are you going to shoot him? Okay, relax, Betty. Relax. Relax, because they will shoot you. They killed my boyfriend in 2015. Yes, he was killed by the police. You're gonna shoot me too, right? For filming, right? We live. Look at that gun. Now look, yeah. Look, look how she holding that gun, y'all. No look how she holding that gun. So who, okay, I'm going to pause this, y'all. So I don't know. I, I did a video just not too long ago. Yes, it was the Pamela Turner story. And um, in that case, how those people were standing there and they were filming and recording, but they wasn't saying nothing. It was just like, they were just standing there like zombies just recording. And the old boy was like, dang, he popped her ass. Like, and here in this case, I, I have to give it to this young lady that was covering that particular story, y'all, because she at least filled in the gap she stood in and said something she let her friends be known she was recording all of that like so if they was gonna shoot and fire off it was gonna hit her and then and to shoot and kill an innocent bystander recording you know they they that's just double on top of double you know what i'm saying so they were mindful about this situation but she actually saved his life she intervened this is what i'm talking about so how is it that women how about i'm not even just saying women but just this woman in particular 
literally acted out what I was saying and I had made a comment on something uh, in the past about that that situation not this one I just show or this one right here on the screen but uh, the Pamela Turner story and some people like well what was they supposed to do get in the way and get killed too and I'm like everybody's so selfish everybody pick and choose when is they turn to feel like they want to stand for something right but yet y'all out here rioting over a menace seriously like him doing all of that, he was asking to get killed. He was asking for a death wish. In this day and age, yes, they are they're shooting you and, and, and asking questions later. But you dead then at that point, like something was wrong with him. And I keep telling y'all here, even in um like I said, Second Corinthians uh chapter 7, 14, and he say, if my matter of fact, let me let me let y'all see it on the screen. Screw me reading it, just reading it. Y'all need to see words, and that's how I can get y'all going because apparently it's you know it's it's flying over y'all head. Y'all not getting it. Y'all not understanding why this is happening to our people the way that it is, and this is just unfortunate because people. It's not just me out here talking about this, y'all. This is all spiritual battle but y'all don't want to listen y'all don't want to take heed y'all want to continue to be out here living your best life so called listen this is a this is not a life sentence it's a prison sentence this whole entire time we down here we got to be on good behavior in order for us to get back home so let me just go to it let me just go to it cuz it's crazy. See this? Look, even here. Let me. I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna start here. If my people pray, okay. I know y'all thinking, oh well, my grandma or this probably man. People pray. I don't know prayers get answered. No, no, no. This has to be in a collective group. Watch this. The Solomon finished the house of the Lord in the king's house and all that came into Solomon's heart uh, to make in the house of the Lord and in his house. He pro uh, he uh, prosperly affected. Okay, so he did well, and the Lord appeared appeared to Solomon by night and said unto him, "I have heard thy prayer and have chosen this place to myself for an house of sacrifice. If I shut up heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, let me stop right there." <laughs> Let me show y'all. I'm going to tap that. Let me highlight that real quick. Bam. Okay. Of uncertain derivation of locusts, the locusts. Okay, so we're talking about a, a bug. And they're not talking about a specific one. But watch this real quick. Because this is happening right now. Okay, shout out to RT for that one. Um, let's go to Dabu. Because he be covering some stuff, y'all. This is happening over in Italy. All right. He right here. I be getting notifications on his videos because he be, he be on it throughout the day on what's going on. Okay. Where is it? There we go. It was the first video. Check this out. In what some are describing as a plague of biblical proportions, the island of Sardinia is seeing millions and millions of locusts swarm the farmlands. And they're saying that a combination of weather events have been right to lead up to an event like this. And right now it's seriously affecting the farmer's livestock. It's crushing the production. If you add this to the list of Food shortages around the globe, all the crops that have been damaged one way or another by one thing or another, at this point, this has gotten out of control. They're saying that it's the worst at least in six decades. 6,200 acres or 2,500 hectares of agricultural land have been ate up or destroyed by these locusts. As they say, they have sprung up in some of these fallow or lower land fields and then they move on to the agriculture lands to eat and then they just explode in numbers now italy the main mainland italy they're seeing a problem too with these little bugs that have been destroying the fruit trees 
So that too is happening. Attacking all the fruit trees in that region. So you have the farmlands, fruit trees, Italy, and in this island region getting attacked massively. Just add that to the list of places getting hit in terms of the food in the farmland. This time, a massive amount of locusts. You can only the link. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and DLive for more. I'll leave links in the description box. Much love, y'all. Okay. Alright. So, you know, that's what I'm saying. It's already happening. Um, so, yeah, he said, devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people. He said, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves, you hear this? And pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked, their what? Their wicked, their evil, naturally, or morally ways, your affliction on people, on your own people, okay? Your bad behavior, your calamity, your evil, favoredness, okay? This is where I was talking about how y'all want to love to uh, pick and choose when y'all want to fight for something, especially when it's evil, just to cover and make it, oh, this person is innocent. No. Okay? Your hurtful ways, your ill-favored ways, and you're marked. Y'all all are marked. I keep telling y'all this. You're marked. Your mischief ways, your, mis your misery, your misery, your naughty ways, your troubling ways, your vexing ways, just wickedness, wretchedness, wrongdoing. Okay? <clears throat> y'all can't help y'all selves to spoil good for nothing. Associate associate selves and show self friendly are by um by mistake afflict associate that's what y'all are doing okay so from their wicked ways all of that i just said all of that i just said then i will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their and heal their their land this is why we're not back off in our land okay and see I want to go here to Deuteronomy 28 because it's supposed to happen, brothers and sisters. I'm gonna, let me see what's in 40. I know something in 40. But all of this is the Deuteronomy curses for those who don't know and for those who do know, good. That's why we need to be out here telling people, thou shalt have all the trees throughout all the coast, but thou shalt not anoint thyself with oil or thine oil. Their olive shell cast his fruit. See, so we ain't even gonna have we ain't gonna have nothing that we even plant, which we don't. We don't own none of the farmland. All the Gentiles got all the farmland everywhere. That's why you tearing and eating it up. But we ain't got it either. Okay. But I wanna uh show y'all here in 49. Said the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Yep. A nation of fierce countenance which shall not regard the person of the old nor shew favor to the young. This is why your people getting killed. Because this is why we over here and they came and brought us over here. Okay. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and, thy, um, and the fruit of thy land until thou be destroyed. Which also shall not leave thee either corn, wine, or oil or the increase of thy kind. There can their kind or flocks of thy sheep until he have destroyed thee. And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates until thy high and fence walls come down wherein thy, thou uh, trustest throughout all thy land. <clears throat> and he shall besiege thee in all thy gates throughout all thy land which the Lord thy God hath given thee. So as you can see everything that he gave us he took it from us and they all came and took over like <clears throat> and so 
all of this is taking place because we were wicked on our land. We was doing the same stuff and we're wicked now. And it said, and thou shalt eat the fruit of thy own body, the flesh of thy sons and of thy daughters, which the Lord thy God have given thee in siege and in the straightness wherewith thine enemy shall distress thee. Hasn't this been happening? All this I'm reading. I'm keep going. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that so that man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. Ain't that what y'all doing right now? Killing one another in y'all own communities, terrorizing in y'all own communities, and toward the wife of his bosom. Hmm. How many of y'all men hate y'all wives, hate y'all black queens? That y'all are with, but complaining. Y'all hate your mothers, everything. And toward the remnant of his children. How many of y'all jealous of y'all own kids? Who, 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 um, what's his name? The musician, his father, Marvin Gaye. His father killed him. Jealousy. Which he shall leave. And, and this is in plenty cases. This I'm just using him as one of the cases that I can just, you know, vaguely remember. And this is happening. We, we against our own brothers and sisters, our own foremothers, forefathers, our elders. All of this, we are, we are co-pass all of these uh, people businesses and stuff, all the Gentile businesses when ours is closed. Y'all will sneak up in these people homes that work hard for their stuff, sneak up in their driveways, break into their cars, ride past, shoot their house up, all this stuff. But then y'all won't, me not a lot of y'all will go mess with these uh, Gentile businesses. Now, I'm not condoning anybody to go out there, for the record, to go take from not even a store business owner or anything of that nature but i'm just making a whole point here how y'all will come up against y'all own people within a heartbeat y'all don't care y'all don't care if y'all getting the money or y'all not y'all will screw y'all people over so fast well our people because i'm saying it like y'all not my people but still y'all will screw over y'all people so freaking bad you know that y'all give y'all own selves a bad name within the black community. Like the blacks is some of the black. There's black people and there's niggas. Okay. Let me just put it that way. I don't like niggas. But I like my black brothers and sisters. This is why I say that I like them. I don't like evildoers. And they get a kick out of this. Then they want to go to social media with their guns. You want to go to social media flashing your money and talk to your friends. You want to sell the drugs to your own people. And I'm not saying sell it to people outside of that. No way. Because you still handing them over death. You're doing nothing no different than the white man. And then y'all want to come in and say what the white man doing to y'all. How is it that y'all can talk about what the white man doing to y'all that y'all like doing to yourselves? Hmm? And then you wonder why. The entire, the whole entire covenant is freaking poison and curse because y'all still out here with this mess. And then the elders, y'all ain't even listening to some of the elders. Y'all want to be like, well, you ain't my mama. You ain't my daddy. You ain't nobody, no can folk to me. Fuck you. You know, y'all just disrespectful. Y'all some vile, viperous ass people. Of his children, which shall leave. Mm-hmm. And go back. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother and toward his wife into his bosom and toward the remnant of his children which he shall leave and y'all men leave y'all households too <clears throat> y'all make babies everywhere y'all go and i mean by that every woman y'all lay down with damn near or y'all just y'all just as equally irresponsible as these women y'all out here you're not taking proper precautions to cover yourselves and you want to get mad because there's no longer no parent planhood. I mean, no Planned Parenthood, a.k.a. abortion centers. They banning them everywhere. You don't want to put on condoms. You don't want to um, take birth control to no form. Men don't want to take um, no level of accountability because that's not the woman you want to have a child with or you don't trust that that's your child because she a hoe, she this, she that, and a third. And hoes is in every race. But then y'all won't, y'all will degrade the women with in your own community and call her something that you're not sure she ain't because she may not have something going on for herself or uh, she may not have a financial caliber that you're looking for or a look or it's just y'all are so vain about everything and then if y'all go and marry a whore in another damn um, race and then say and then she could be a whore and y'all just uplift her have kids with her and, and be a father to the kids outside of your motherfucking um kin your kind which is something you ain't supposed to be doing. And then y'all sit here 
and y'all leave y'all own black children because y'all don't like the mother y'all hate it then y'all hate the kids because y'all gotta raise them so now you ain't even there to raise these kids and then these kids get grown run out here into society with the shit they learning from tv yeah i'm letting loose on this video this they they uh uh they they let out loud out loose in this uh community and they just rage hell on everybody and yes this is in every race but i'm talking specifically about my black brothers and sisters because we can't keep blaming people for our our misfortune when we have clear instructions here on why this is happening but y'all don't want to most people don't want to resort to the bible and get the answers there because y'all too still worried about well the white man wrote that he's not that smart okay our people taught them how to do the shit that they do nowadays they didn't have this knowledge and this is no um pun um, no pun intended to the other races but i'm just keeping it real this is exactly just fact. This is historical facts. So this is not me just sitting up here saying it because I got a problem with the other races. No. He used these people to be a freaking whipping belt on us. Just like we'll whip our kids when they do wrong. We'll take things from them when they do wrong. Or they get bad grades in school. What do you think the Most High is doing to us right now? The very same exact thing. Let me continue reading. Because I wasn't going to pull the Bible out. But you know, in cases like this, you can't help but do it. Because the answers are just here. Okay? So that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat. Because he hath nothing left in left him in the siege and in the straightness wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee in all thy gates. And this is why these men leave. Just like in uh, the uh, the jogger case, uh, the Central Park Five, one of the young boys, soon he got into um, the situation he got into because of his father's ignorance. His father told him to tell them whatever they want to hear so he can go home. Like, you was, you an adult. You should have known better if didn't nobody else did. But then, you know, a lot of our people don't, re we still don't really know the law like that because they constantly writing up stuff and changing stuff around and you going to jail for all kind of stuff but that's just clear sense like just as an adult black man and he left his son left his whole family and then his son went to jail because he was too coward to fa basically face the situation as to he was responsible to some degree why his son ended up in the position that he ended up in you know he failed him but he ran from that situation but i thought about that let me continue reading Okay, where are you off at? Which would not adventure to set to soul on her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. Her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter. And this is going for when I said earlier about both parents is felling these kids. He got something here for both of us. Both the man and the woman. You know these women. Yeah, some of these women is not fit to be mothers. But then this is the man's fault because y'all giving them the spark of life. You're putting the key in the hole. So you can't just sit here and be like, this is just all her. This was an equal thing. And and these men and women out here felling their kids. And this is back to this. Back to this. You know. I they didn't mention anything about the mother, but it's just the whole principle, like I said. I mean, if she wasn't around, she, I mean, I, I don't really know. They just mentioned about the father, but the women, y'all are, y'all just as terrible too. I always say y'all women is the damn devil because y'all are very devilish. Um, and this ain't just me giving the pass, uh, to the men because y'all are too. And toward her young that cometh out from between her feet and toward her children, which she shall bear for she shall eat them for want all of the things secretly in the siege and straightness wherewith thy enemy shall dist uh, distress thee in thy gate excuse me y'all so she would do anything to get where she got to get even if it, it requires giving up her own kids blood like see how wicked our people is you can't tell me this ain't going on right now we see this happening right now within our community and a lot of other communities too but he's talking specifically to us about this is our curses that's why you got single mother homes, single father homes. You got women who's just raising the kid, but they out here, you know, uh, 
shit some of them selling their kids you got some of them up here um leaving their kids in dope spots to get high and they getting messed up and stuff um you got women out here just leaving their kids alone on purpose so they can go hang out to the clubs or goes over me and houses and stuff like that or whatever and not actually being there to provide for their kids they got their kids out here on the street corners begging and stuff panhandling you know uh they gotta go around and cut grass and stuff because they can't they mothers you know they get money but they're not taking care i mean we got a lot of cases y'all that's happening in the hood you can't say it's not happening if thou will not observe to do all the words of this law that were written in this book that thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name the lord thy god then the lord thy god then the lord will make thy plagues let's click that so y'all can see okay we're gonna go back to um second chronicles 2. it says a blow of the um it says the blow of by implication a wound figuratively carnage also pestilence between blow plague slaughter did not just read did not just show y'all last video it was a slaughter this young man right here slaughter his story that was a slaughter that was a slaughter okay smoke sore stripe stroke wound all of that he got gunned down and this man unfortunately got gunned down we still don't know what all happened but that's the story that they giving us for now okay these are plagues and of long countenance and sore sickness okay that's why our people is dying at high rates of cancer aids hiv uh different things sickle cell all are we getting so many sicknesses with our bodies and long countenance this is why curses we ain't we ain't we ain't ask for no forgiveness moreover will he bring upon thee all the diseases of egypt which thou has uh, was afraid of and they shall cleave unto thee mm-hmm yeah and every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law them will the lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed okay this is why this is happening to us this is why this is happening to us let's keep going and ye shall be left few in number hmm sound familiar y'all Whereas ye were as the stars of heaven for multitude, because thou wouldest not obey the voice of the Lord thy God, and it shall come to pass that as the Lord rejoiced over you to do you good and multiply you, so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you. Didn't I tell y'all who's doing, who's behind all of this? That's why I said this ain't the police. Mm -mm, this is spiritual, you guys. He is seeking them on our people on purpose. Because you know why? Y'all don't still want to do right. Y'all out here still doing what you want to do. And to bring you to naught. Nothing. To nothing. And ye shall be plucked from off the land whither thou goest to possess it. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other this is why you hear something about our people everywhere i just did i just covered the story about what just happened down in uh, south sudan i've been covering stories um recently and a lot of stuff because y'all need to see this because for some reason it's it's not clicking it's not registering um the end of the earth even unto the other and there thou shalt serve other gods this is what y'all didn't i've been i've been banging on these gods i told y'all this is all babylon stuff everything of babylon which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone okay that's y'all idols in the churches that's them statues with beyonce and and and, and michael j they got the wax museum they got all kind of stuff going on with all these idols got statues and abraham lincoln and everybody and among these nations shalt thou find no ease we ain't got no ease no matter where you go so for people to come and come out oh well y'all need to go back to africa okay africa they may have some good thriving cities here and there scattered out but if you ain't from there and you ain't got nothing established and it ain't kicking off revenue then ain't no point in you going there because you gonna be you know not in a, a, a good position 
as far as living that's not gonna it's it's not gonna happen that way we we can't take it upon ourselves to feel like that's where we need to go to get peace because they don't even got peace on that land they not even running their own land it may be the face of our people as politicians but who's really willing them motherfuckers is not nobody that's of our people okay and they wicked because they allowing it to happen they afraid find no ease neither shall they shall the soul of thy foot have rest but the Lord shall give thee their, their, um, a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. This is exactly what's been going on all over. No matter, even on the continent of Africa. So y'all can keep that. No, thank you. He said he going to come and get us. I'm sticking to that. Okay. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. And thou shalt fear day and night and shall have no assurance of thy life. This is why some people walk out the house you're nervous. You don't know what's going to happen. This young man right here, wage it. you already got to deal with the people in your own community. And now you got to deal with the people that's, um, you know, outside of your community. If they going to kill you, don't know if it's going to be your own kind or, uh, or the enemy. So that's why I said the enemy don't got no color. Y'all blindsided by that. Um, Y'all blindsided by that. The enemy dwelling in both sides. It says here. In the morning thou shalt say, Will God, it were even? Meaning, are we even now? You done? And at even at the end thou shalt say, Will God, it were, it were morning? For the fear that thine heart wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. Like, you know, is it, is it over with now? Is it, you know, is this it right here? At, in the evening? Okay, in the morning time, you done getting in the evening? Like in the morning? You know? Like, then this is exactly what we're saying. When this is going to be done? When this is going to be over with at night and daytime? It don't even matter. You know, it hasn't stopped yet. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And it says, and if y'all don't know what Egypt means, let me show y'all. Because it means Misraim. Upper, lower, it's meaning bondage. But let's see if it'll pull it up on here. Okay, it says, in the sense of limit, Egypt as the border of palace, okay. Besieged places, defense, fortified. You still ain't giving me. All right. Something him again. That is um, a mound. Um, a siege. That's what this is. Egypt is a siege. Egypt is distress. Okay, here we go. Um, bulwark. Fortress, sea, stronghold. Yep, this is a stronghold. And we say here, the camp, like we said, the cramp that is confined in Mary in many applications, literally and figuratively, formative or hostile. <laughs> Adversary. Here go the real way. There you go. Assault. Okay. Ain't this all that happened to our people? Beset. Besieged. That that keep popping up. Bind up. That's what's been happening to us. Okay. I'm just highlighting as I go now. Cast. Distress. Fashion. In a fashion. Fortify and close. Lay siege. Put up in bags. Yeah. Uh-huh. So we bringing us back here in Egypt. We back in Egypt, y'all. We we got free from it, and now we back in it. That's why you see all this going down. Again, with ships, and we came here on ships, too. The good ship Jesus is what they call one of them. Mm-hmm. A ship of men. Mm-hmm. I was just giving um, a nice little story to my sister about it, but I'm going to save that story for another day because I don't want to dwell just directly on um, some of the history behind it. But I know much, a lot of you people are... Um, aware of it my brothers and sisters i know y'all aware of how this all went down how we got here see a galley navy ships <clears throat> they had to sail in that water had to have the ships for it okay let's see i go all the way through everything y'all okay 
these, those, all those ships. That's, yep, a whole bunch of them. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more, meaning our land, more again. And there ye shall be sold. Didn't we get sold off in auctions, our people? We got scattered all over this country because of that. We got sent over to other nations because of that. Ooh, by who? Merchandise and merchandise into marriage, into slavery, to surrender. I was just telling my sister about this, but like once again, I'm going to come back and I'm going to use this scripture in particular for some a little black history. Unto your enemies, for bond men and bond women. And no man shall buy you. You know why? Nobody's brought us out of our bondage. Black men is like, and black men and women is like the highest incarcerated people around this whole country just so that they can exercise the 13th amendment steal your freedom and become a slave again at first when they got free and came up north they was up there asking them for papers and then bringing them right back to prison we like in double prison we are already locked in bondage with these bodies that expire because our forefathers been hard-headed so somebody got to pay for this blood and that's what yahushua had to do he had to pay for the wrongdoing and this is the things we get we think because he died for our sins that we supposed to just continue to sin no he did that so that even the good people that's being righteous won't go to hell because somebody had to pay for that blood somebody had to pay for that blood and so ain't nobody gonna buy us out of this situation nobody ain't gave us reparations and set us free nowhere we may think we free we walking around because we can go uh, work a job and work side by side with other people. You know, it ain't many of our people that's prosperous and um, owning a business. And when they are, let me show y'all something. This was some wild stuff. It was this, uh, I ain't even going to pull it up. But it was this uh, couple, they own this, um, this uh, home improvement company or whatnot. And they took some celebrities' money and stuff and a lot of other people. And they've been reported, but they had did a horrible job. They didn't even finish the work. They left their house uh, incomplete. And what happened? Yeah, they took like um, close to like $60,000 of their money. It was a celebrity couple, Waka Flocka and Tammy. For those who don't know who Waka Flocka is, he's a rap artist that was um, big in like the early, mid-2000s or whatnot. Um, and Tammy is his, uh, his wife now. But she's a TV personality and stuff. But for those who are familiar with her, she be on, she be on like you know the little reality TV shows and stuff. Both of them. But anywho, um, yeah, our own people ripping us off. Y'all off the chain, y'all. Y'all off the chain. Y'all don't care about nobody but y'all selves. Like y'all are so wicked, and y'all wondering why this stuff is happening and how and why we got here. We still ain't even. We haven't even asked for forgiveness from our forefathers. Not all of us, at least. And this stuff is going to continue to happen like the word says in Deuteronomy. It's going to continue to happen until we all repent. We all repent. Because you know what they say. One makes it bad for all. So I'm going to leave it right there. And um, I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell y'all what I pulled up about this young man's story. Um and hopefully you guys will see that i'm still not joking all of this is a spiritual battle and i'm gonna show y'all how this story is screaming that this was all a setup i can't say what this man was about in his personal life but um i told y'all he's using the sheep as slaughter he says to set the flock up i'm gonna show y'all all of this but i'm gonna end it there make sure you guys um like share subscribe to the youtube channel shiny mac and um take care of yourselves today be easy out there don't be getting into no mess tell your family you love them repent 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 i always say this you guys please repent because if you want your life to be saved truly you got to and repenting is not just saying i'm sorry and going back and doing it we have to do it through action as well that's how y'all know that we're for real and until all of us collectively as a group of people stop coming up against each other and go to our father for real and pray this is going to continue to happen but um like i said i love you guys take care of yourselves make sure you like share and subscribe and shalom